Welcome to Airman Vision. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how to prepare for the Air Force PT test before BMT. When you go to BMT, you do not want to be the person that is not prepared for PT. The Air Force PT test is made up of three components, a mile and a half run, push-ups, and sit-ups. Now, the way that the test is scored is by how fast you can run a mile and a half, how many push-ups you can do in one minute, and how many sit-ups you can do in one minute. The Air Force PT test requirements differ based on age and gender. So to find your specific requirements, you can download the PDF with the link in the description. Even though there are minimum numbers that you must reach in each section, you also have to have an overall score of 75 points just to pass. I give an in-depth breakdown along with talking about the specific requirements in my Air Force PT requirements video. Be sure to check that out next if you haven't seen it. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing my requirements and how I have improved my PT score. For my age and gender, I have to run a mile and a half in 19 minutes and 43 seconds. I have to do 14 push-ups and 31 sit-ups. Now keep in mind, these are just the minimum numbers that have to be met. When I did my very first practice PT test, I actually completely failed. I ran my mile and a half in 17 minutes and 54 seconds, which is passing, but I only did 12 push-ups and I did not reach the minimum number, which in my case is 14. If you don't hit the minimum number in any category, you automatically fail. I did do 34 sit-ups, which is passing, but when I already failed my PT test, that doesn't help me much. So this is my baseline, my starting point that I have to work from. I started using the BMT fitness prep guide on airmanvision.com. It's a four week program designed to help future trainees who want to reach a higher level of physical readiness before going to BMT. The program is made to help you not only meet, but exceed the BMT standards of physical fitness. Once you start the BMT fitness prep, you will take a practice PT test at the end of every week so you can track your progress and also get used to the PT test itself. So I just ran a mile and a half around the lake. This is the third time I've ran this week. Got a lot of work to do. So you already know the baseline that I started with. And after my first week of doing the BMT fitness prep guide, I went from completely failing to passing my PT test. I ran my mile and a half in 15 minutes and 55 seconds. I did 25 push-ups and 40 sit-ups. This gives me an overall score of 79.9. And remember, you have to have a 75 just to pass. So I'm already passing my PT test. PT tests are not just for BMT. When you're in operational Air Force, you have to take a PT test every six months with a score of 75 just to pass. But if you score over a 90, you only have to take your PT test once a year. So basically we are gonna to strive to get a 90 on our PT test. And whenever you are getting back into a routine of working out, your progress is always going to fluctuate. You're gonna have ups and downs and stagnant areas and that's okay. I was going from not working out at all to getting back into a routine of actually doing PT. Week one was okay for me. I went from failing to passing, but week two was a struggle. My legs were so tight and cramping so bad at the beginning of that week. Finished up my mile and a half. I am about exactly where I was last week, 15, 56. I've been working on a different style of push up. Normally I keep my elbows out. I've been working on keeping my elbows down lower. My push ups went down, but I still passed with 18. Failed my sit ups today. I did 34 and I needed to get 39. So that right there disqualifies me and just makes me fail the whole thing. I was right there, but I didn't quite get it. Don't let that discourage you. Your body is getting back into a routine of training. Fluctuation in your score is okay. So week three, running actually started to feel okay. Holy goodness. That was my fastest mile and a half ever. I got a 14.44. Now to sum, you might think that is still really slow, but for me, that is a huge improvement. Something that is so important is to not compare your progress to someone else who is further along than you. Now, this does not mean you can't look to others for motivation or inspiration. I could look at the time that I just ran and be like, this other person runs way faster than me. Just discouraging about it. Or instead, I can look at where I started and where I am now and see the improvement that was made. I started at a 17 54 mile and a half and I am already down to 14 minutes and 44 seconds 
that's three minutes and 10 seconds off of my runtime. So just make sure you are comparing your own progress to yourself and not to other people. So let's calculate my PT score for week three. I ran my mile and a half in 14 minutes and 44 seconds, which gets me 54 points. I did 22 push-ups, which gets me 12.6 points. And I did 42 sit-ups, which gets me 16 points. Overall, I got an 82.6 and I was so excited about that. This is my biggest improvement on my PT test score. And I also had ran my fastest mile and a half. Moving on to week four. This was actually the week that I found out my job and my ship date. Nuh uh Yeah. No. Congrats. I broke another record this week and I shaved an additional 11 seconds off my mile and a half run time. This is my fastest mile and a half. I ran it in 1433. I did 25 push-ups and I maxed out my sit-ups this week at 55. For my requirements, you only have to do 50 sit-ups to max out the number of points you can get. So this week I got an 88.4. So I have made continuous improvement the past two weeks on my PT test. Now I would appreciate it if you all would give this video a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe for more information just like this about what it's like to join the Air Force or what it's like being in the Air Force. Another way you can give back is by becoming a channel member with the link in the description. Super simple way to just say thank you for all the hours that we put into these videos. And the longer you're a channel member, the more you rank up and you also have access to special channel member only emojis. So I said that the BMT fitness prep guide is a four week program and I just talked about four weeks, but you can actually extend it to go longer, which is exactly what I did. So my week five and week six, I really was focusing on my distance and I didn't have much improvement on my PT tests these two weeks. Something that I think is just a super awesome added bonus is that I've kind of enjoyed running more. I've always hated running. I just don't think running is a fun thing to do. And when you're getting into it at first, it's a bit of a struggle, you know, like your legs get really tight and your breathing is just a struggle. But the more you get used to it, the longer distances you can go. And I have started some competitions with friends that makes it a little easier to be more motivated to want to get out and run. This is the most I've ran in one day in my entire life. Six miles. I'm done. That's all I got for today. <laughs> Week seven. Let's go. That was my fastest mile and a half yet. I finally got over a 90 on my PT test. I am so excited that I've been able to continue improving on shaving down my runtime. In 14 minutes and 20 seconds, I did 32 push-ups and I have continued maxing out my sit-ups at 50. So this week I got a 91.3 on my PT test. Week eight was my last week of fully doing PT because my recruiter told me to be careful right before I leave, but I still exceeded my PT test with a score of 90.4. I was so happy with the progress that I've made while doing the BMT fitness prep guide. If you all wanna get in shape before going to BMT, you can get it for yourself. The link link is in the description below. I wish you all the best of luck and I'll see you in another video.